Today we are visiting the cloud forest in Singapore. Inside you will find a 35 meter, 114 feet tall mountain covered with vegetation and the world's tallest indoor waterfall. The tropical vegetation changes from the top of the mountain to the bottom, mimicking how it would be at different altitudes. After admiring the waterfall for a moment, we will be heading to the top and begin our descent from there on the ramps that wind down. Be prepared that as soon as you enter you will feel a gush of cold air hit you. This is due to the air created by the waterfall and also due to the inside temperature being kept at 23 to 25 degrees Celsius or 73 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It is definitely nice to get away from the hot weather outside. We are now at the top of the mountain, which is called Lost World. It showcases vegetation typically found around 2,000 meters or 6,562 feet above sea level, and where you can find the carnivorous plants. This ramp is called Cloud Walk, where you can enjoy views of Marina Bay Sands, gardens by the bay, and close-up views of various epiphyte plants that are growing on the side of the mountain. As of May 2019, the admission for adults is 28 Singaporean dollars, and children is 15 Singaporean dollars. Opening hours are from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. daily, with last admission at 8 p.m. Peak times are from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., so I recommend trying to get here early to avoid the long wait times to get in. I went there around 12 p.m. and there was no wait times to buy tickets or to get inside. I did go there during the low season as well though. We are now at the waterfall view, where you can get a closer view of the waterfall. This is the second ramp, called the treetop walk, and as its name suggests, we are right on top of the treetops below. Above you can also see the cloud walk. The best way to get here is via the circle line or downtown line. Get off at Bayfront station and from there take exit B and follow the underground linkway. After you exit, cross the Dragonfly Bridge into the gardens by the bay. From there it is just a short walk to the Cloud Forest as you can see from the map. We are now in the Crystal Mountain Cave where you can view different stalactites and stalagmites and learn more about geology.
Next, you go down to the basement where the Klaus Forest Theater is located and where you can sit and watch plus 5 degrees, which shows you how the planet can change when the temperature increases by only 5 degrees. After the theater, you enter the secret garden, where you can discover more than 7,000 plants of more than 135 species. This is the end of the tour. It will take you about one to two hours to see everything, and the path is one way only. However, at the end, you can get a stamp if you want to go back in again, if you miss something. If you enjoyed this tour, please don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up to support this channel.